So let's have a look at this uh, next one here with idea spaces. You can make this space as uh, big as you want, though you can spread it out there. And as you can see over here, we've got these little uh, text boxes there. So I want to put another text box in there. Let's choose that there. Click on that there. Text box. Press enter and it goes down to a new line. Now that text box there doesn't look much at the moment, but if I select that, if I change to the selection tool, I take that, right click on it and apply a basic figure style. And there's a cloudy sort of thing, fluffy. So now I've got a text box in there and what I can do then is I can go to this tool here and say they want to have an arrow. So I want the arrow to go from the center of this over to this thing over here. And I just stick it to connection point, click and let go, and now I've got that there. Now the good thing about that is that when I move this around, the uh, connection stays. It follows from this point to this point over here. And the same if I move this one here, that is moved to this here. If I right click on this, I can change that to be a curved line. Insert midpoint, that's what I need to do. So if I take that, drag that over there, that's curving. Okay, what else can you do with this? Well, this here is actually a PDF. If I double click on that there, that's going to open up in preview and I can see the PDF. So that's quite good. Finder. Let's go to pictures. You've already seen that I can bring a picture in from the stuff that's already in the library. But what I want to bring something in that's not in the library, so I might want to bring in this picture of this uh, De Chavo van. I can do that, look. Let's put this down here. Well, okay, let's have a look at something else we can do with this here. Let's do a recording. Let's record audio. And we've got this uh, recording audio thing over here. So now I'm recording a bit of audio into this thing here. It tells us that it's running. I've got a nice little thing here which tells me that the volume level is okay. And let's finish that recording. Now if I double click on that there, we've got a little... So now I'm recording a bit of audio into this thing here. It tells us that it's running. I've got a nice little... Okay, so that does work. How about that then? So you can have audio recordings into this and you can also have video recordings in. I haven't tried the video recordings in this yet. I'll have to give it a try at some other occasion. So what I can do with this is I can show as icon or I can show as preview or I can double click with this and it opens up in preview which is not necessarily where I want to take it to do some editing with it. Okay, so let's go to open file with. So if I want to open it up with Pixelmator, I can do. So there you do, you make your changes in your uh, picture there and then it'll be changed over in the picture that you've got in Curio. Let's see, I want to do something with a brush or a pen stroke. So let's use this tool here. I can draw stuff in there. Much easier to draw stuff if you're using a Wacom tablet or something like that. And you can do brush strokes as well. So this is the brush stroke tool. And obviously you've got your colours and everything else up there. So you can change colours and uh, draw whatever. You can draw over the top of other stuff too. And you can also use a highlighter. And you can also use an eraser. So let's rub some of that out. There you go. There's a number of different things there that you can do with drawing on top of whatever else you put in there to make it that much more useful. Okay, let's go to figures. I thought there might be some simple uh, figures in there like squares and rectangles, things like that, but these are uh, more sort of style type things than figures. Although we've got stencils, but I think maybe stencils are something that you only get when you're using the um, paid or the higher cost versions of this Curio. The starting point of this Curio starts at around $40. Okay, so for instance, if I want timeline, choose that there and just put a timeline in there. Let's go back to this tool here, the selection tool. And now what I can do is I can move that and bring it down here. I'm using a demo version at the moment to give this a try. You get 15 days of free trial with this here and you can also ask to have another 60 days of free trial if you wish. So obviously they are quite happy with their product. They think that once you've tried it a while that you're going to buy it in the end because you uh, like it so much. The other application that is uh, quite similar to this, I believe, although I've not really used it in anger, would be DevonThink. Okay, so what else can we do with this here? We've got uh, basic figures. You can put images in, as you see there, and you've got different types of uh, shadows that you can put underneath them, and you can also put different sorts of borders, 
and you can have edges on them like these rounded corners. Stencil, you've got a, repos a repository for stencils, which is much better than having a suppository for stencils. And another thing that is quite interesting is that you can actually get this to work with Evernote too. So there you go. If you've got Evernote, you might want to be using this as well. You bring things in from Evernote to put into Curio. How curious is that then? I can do things with tanks here. You can have labels. And you can make a presentation out of it as well. Project Center. Okay, so this is all your uh, preferences for your documents and so on. Arrangement, lines, convert into list, convert into mind map. Well, that's handy that you can do that. You can convert from uh, list into mind map and back again. You can change your colors with this quite easily of the uh, mind map. Go to file, new blank project. And we're going to add a new page, new idea space from gallery this time. And from the gallery, we'll go with, uh, let's have a black liner, choose that. Okay, so that's our space there. Let's add a mind map and we'll have a mind map with chiclets in it. Let's put some text in there as well. Let's get our selection tool again. Let's uh, select that, change the style of it. Now then, let's see if we can select it this time and add some meta to it. Oh, goodness me, we've got some meta on there. So obviously with that other project I was looking at there, for some reason or these um, tags were uh, disabled. Okay, so let's uh, display within the shape border and we'll add a red flag to that there and one of those there too and a pound symbol. There you go. So let's uh, see what else we can do with this. We can add some priority to that there. So if it's uh, high priority there, it's got a little number one in there and we can also add a rating. So that's uh, rating number three. And if we want it to uh, be something there that's got to be something that's got to be completed then we can add a uh, complete percentage on there. So maybe it's 25% uh, done. We can set a start date and a due date. And I can add resources to it as well. So let's add myself as a resource to that. So my picture has gone in there, look. And that can go to the side there. Let's uh, bring that up there. Put them underneath instead by clicking on this little button over here. And we'll change the priority down from urgent to medium. And I can do lists. Let's make a list. And we'll have a list on the green board. Okay, so we've got a list of names in there. This has got a bit of drop shadow applied to it already for this uh, style. And I can go to this display one here. Or the figure one here. Okay, with the figure one I can uh, do some changes to the text there if I wish. Change it to Arial Black. Change the size of it too. I think that's enough to be uh, going on with, with regards to Curio. It's quite an interesting application. Not quite sure if I'd get the use out of it yet, but well, maybe I could if I was working on some big project and I wanted to have all sorts of different files available to look at within the one space. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when the next videos are coming out from Mac 20 Questions. Bye bye now.